Hi, and welcome to Peak Performance with Dr. Doug. You know, from time to time, I get some questions through my website at drdoug.com, and they're questions from viewers. They want to know more about how to overcome some of the barriers that they deal with as a trader, focusing on the psychology of investing. I'm going to go through some, some questions today and give you some answers. Qu first question I got from John in Orlando. John emails me a question about, Dr. Doug, I've been watching your vlogs for a while, and I'm actually curious, what do you think is the most important characteristic for a trader? John, love the question. Hands down, number one most important thing I think for a trader is to have self-awareness. You've got to have self-awareness to understand how you think, where your fears are, what the triggers are, and then once you understand the barriers around you and how they impact your decision-making process, you can modify your behaviors to make better trades. The second question came in from Stacy. Stacy's from Connecticut, and she emails, you know, I've been burned by the markets in the past, and I've, my, shatters, my, my confidence has been shattered, and I really don't know how to re-engage in the process. Well, Stacy, you're like most Americans and most people around the world that have been watching what's going on and feeling all the devastation around us with the markets. Confidence is a very interesting thing. You know, we feel like it comes and goes, but the reality is it actually never disappears. You always have it somewhere inside of you, and what you need to do in times when you're feeling low confident is actually put together solid game plans and process, and then make it as mechanical as possible. Follow those game plans so there's less thinking involved. If you follow the game plans, you can execute with confidence. And the third question comes from Billy from Newark. Billy emails me and says, how can I learn to be more aggressive in my trades? I oftentimes find that I have the right idea, I just don't get big enough in the trades and I miss out on opportunities where I think I should be making more money. Billy, love it. The perspective that you actually understand and see the right trades out there is, is really critical to the first step of being profitable in trading. Now the next step, as you've identified, is sizing up, getting more aggressive. Well, how do you do that? The way to do that is actually to have a process in place where on one side of the spectrum you identify your A, B, and C quality trades. Which trades you feel the most confident in and the least confident in. And then on the other side of the spectrum, you want to have sizing charts. In other words, if you feel you have A conviction in a trade and you feel very confident in it, then rather than thinking about what the right size to be is, you just go to the chart and say, well, if I have A conviction, I got to go with A size. And if I have B conviction, I go with B size, C conviction, go with C size. Thanks very much for all of your questions. And if you out there want to learn more about the psychology of investing or trading, how to take your game to the next level, come visit my website at drdoug.com. Send me your questions. See you next week.